Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Today is new bike day, but it's a new bike day like no other, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. Now, firstly, this is not for me. It pains me, but this new bike is not for me. On the 13th and 14th of July this year, 2024, my good friend James Saxby is going to be attempting to break the Guinness World Record for the longest triathlon. It's gonna take him around 36 hours in total. He'll be covering somewhere between 450 and 470 kilometers. He's going to be swim, biking and running for a long time. But a big part of this challenge is the bike. So he's going to be cycling for somewhere, somewhere around 230 or 240 miles. And we needed a bike that was going to be fast, it was going to be comfy, it was going to be usable for the intended discipline of a draft legal bike leg. And that led us to this. Now, as part of this project, we're actually doing this. The purpose of James attempting this record is to raise funds for our local charity called AUP and AUP Fund youth activities in Alfreton. So there are a couple of youth groups on a week that AUP fund, the kids don't have to pay to go to. There wasn't anything in the town before AUP started after the council removed funding a few years ago. So it was really important to the local town. We're trying to raise 25,000 pounds to secure the future of that for the next 12 months. It's a lot of money, it's a big challenge. I'm accepting that we might not reach that, but that is our target and we're gonna do everything we can to make as big of a deal about this challenge as we can. So if you can tell all your friends that this thing is happening and share this video and every other thing I'll leave like an information pack in the description down below I'd be very very grateful coupled with that if you'd like to make a donation to the Just Giving the link is in the description down below tell everybody you know I'd be really appreciative so as well as James training for this thing and us trying to set him up to break the record, I also set about trying to speak to potential partners to the event who might want us to use something that they sell, but to also make a donation to the charity. So every brand that I mentioned in this video, who I say has partnered with us for this event, has not only lent us the products, but they've also made donations to the charity, which we're so, so grateful for. It makes a big difference and we really appreciate it. So let me start then with the bike. Now you might not have heard of Reap. Reap are a British brand, brand they haven't been around you know tens and tens of years but they actually develop their own bikes if you're a triathlete you might remember them or most well known for for making a tri bike that doesn't have a seat tube and I know there are other couple of brands that do that, but they essentially pioneered that and tested it and found that it's fast. And Tom Bishop is racing on one this year, in fact. But this is their road bike. As I say, it's a draft legal ride. So we wanted something that's going to be comfy for James to ride. He rides a road bike all the time. And this was right up our street. Now, Reap, a British brand, they develop all their own frames. And I'm generally not trying to make this like a sales pitch. I'm trying to think about what things you'd be interested in knowing about the bike. So this isn't like a, oh, you buy a pre-mold and it's made overseas somewhere and then posted here. They've developed this themselves and every frame set is made in the UK. It's not made somewhere else and assembled in the UK. It's physically made in the UK and assembled and so on. Every frame is built to order. So you can't walk in, there's no shop. You can't walk in and like, oh, I love that one. You, you tell them which one you want and what spec you want and everything else. And then it's a, it's a personal service in which they build you your dream bike, essentially. Now they do have a, a small fleet of test bikes so people can ride one and see how good they are. Hence, how we've been able to get hold of this but yeah they're, they're made to order real custom bespoke service and you'll have to read articles that um, you know magazines have done and testing people have done and said how how well this rides because i haven't ridden it but i think you'll agree it looks every bit like the fast aero road bike that we're looking for whilst also having good tire clearance and so i'm told it is really compliant to ride so we'll start with the frame set. It is full carbon and it is in a bright yellow color. We did want something that stood out during this record, mostly because some of it is through the night. So we need to be able to see where James is, but also we wanted to stand out. We wanted to make a song and dance about it. So I hope you think it looks as good as it does in person because it absolutely does. Now I won't lie to you, the frame sets and the bike itself, it's not cheap at all. It is a real like premium bespoke product. But as I say, I haven't ridden it. If you're one of those people that look for, you get what you pay for. I'd hope that that is the case with this. So in terms of the frame attributes, so the seat clamp is actually tucked away underneath the top tube down there. That's a really ni nice, neat, tight design. There's not, it's not gonna get any road grit from the back and it's not on the side, you know, it's not aero and so on. It's really nicely tucked away. You don't even see it unless you're looking for it. Bladed uh, carbon seat post. They actually do two versions of this. They do an integrated seat post and then a, a more adjustable one, which this one is. For the purpose this bike is used for, having a more adjustable seat post is a benefit. 
if you're going and you know you're only going to ride that bike you're the only person that's going to ride it you could get the integrated seat post which does look a lot smarter as well but just gives you a bit less adjustability in terms of clearance there's a 28 mil tire on the back here and a 25 mil tire on the front it looks like there's loads of clearance on the front there's still plenty of clearance on the back i'm not sure i'd want to go too much bigger than a 28 on the back here but there's plenty of clearance at 28 and i'm sure that is going to really give james that bit of extra comfort over the distance of 240 odd miles onto the group set so it is the new shimano ultegra di2 it's 12 speed it does what it says on the tin isn't it it's perfect it's reliable we know it's going to work it's got a good range james isn't going to be cycling on a very very hilly route so it shouldn't matter it's a mid compact crank and 11 what's well, yeah 1130 12 speed rear cassette moving on to the drivetrain this is where the second partner has joined us so nrg chains are already a partner to my channel they've never once said no to me so if i when i come up with these harebrained ideas and i say can we do this can you help us with this they always say yes and i absolutely love that and as i said earlier they have also made a donation to the charity they're going to be supporting us with a waxed chain which is going to be gold and they're going with the sort of yellow and gold theme and also some gold ceramic bearing jockey wheels now making a drivetrain more efficient is a no-brainer but more than that on a normal ride or normal using normal lube when you're doing that distance you'll need to reapply it having a wax chain it will last providing the weather's good which it is going to be it'll last three four five hundred miles depending on how you're using it so we know as a support team that we're not going to need to touch that drivetrain and also james is going to be saving a few watts through that so i'll leave a link to nrg chains in the description down below i do have a discount code for them as well just anyway but thanks to nrg chains for supporting us and for making a donation to the charity Moving up to the cockpit, it is a you know a fully integrated, it looks the bee's knees, it is full carbon, it's really like bladed and flat on the top. I do have some aero bars on my other bike and when you're climbing, putting your hands on there are, is really comfy. Obviously it's gonna be aero and fast, we know that, we can see that. It's a really nice little shape, I think these are 40 centimeter bars, which is what James rides. They have their own bespoke sort of shaping on the drops, which feels really nice and secure in your hands, but regardless where you put your hands, looks super cool. You get a carbon fiber computer mount as well, which again just looks every bit the premium that the, you know, that the brand is and i'm sure james is going to love that the key for us for this thing was to have a couple of positions so that james can move around and be comfy in several different positions because he's gonna regardless of how you feel he's gonna feel fatigued after a while isn't he now the wheels are not partnered they are some parkour wheels we're not sure if we're going to use these on race day just yet or not or whether we're going to have a deeper section front wheel but what we do have for the rear wheel is this and this is our third partner for the bike leg of this triathlon so this is the easy disc from easy gains now i've known clint who runs easy gains for years and years he's an all-round top guy and again he was one of those who i called and asked for support and he said yes no problem what can i do for you so he's lent us several bits of equipment which i'm going to talk you through now but he's also made a donation to the charity which is very gratefully received so this is the easy disc sl the easy disc super light this is a disc wheel cover now if you've been a time trialist or a triathlete you'll know that disc wheels are faster so a solid disc on the back is faster than any sort of deep section rear wheel but disc wheels are expensive disc wheels have a limited use you can only really use them on race day because if it's really windy you get blown around a bit so you're not going to want to ride in a group or something so the easy disc can be fitted and removed to wheels and i'm generally not trying to make this come across sales pitch because that isn't the intention but you can use the same wheel essentially for training and that is exactly what we're doing james is going to ride this as it is like this and then when we do a couple of test days he's going to fit this and use the easy disc disc wheel and then when he's just going back to group rides he's going to take it off so we're not having to buy or try and source a separate disc wheel, but we're still going to get the gains of this. Now, this is the developed super light version. So depending on which depth you get for what depth wheels, they're between four and 600 grams. Now, you'll see a lot of manufacturers and a lot of brands claim things. Oh, this is eight watts faster than that. And this is you know faster than whatever. I've been to the wind tunnel with Clint. I've seen this tested against disc wheels and against other wheels with my own eyes. I know that the numbers that he's put on his website are legit. So I'll leave a link in the description down below please do feel free to go and check it out but this is going to save him minutes over the distance not just seconds it will be many minutes so we look forward to james reaping the benefits of that the other products that clint has supplied us with is a chain ring cover and a front mech cover again in exactly the same way as he pitches the disc wheel it's the gains without the cost so it's a cheaper item which is going to replicate or be better than what is an expensive item so sure you can buy an expensive integrated chain set that's got no gaps in it and it is aero and so on 
or you can stick this cover on any chains that you've got and you will reap those same rewards. Again, wind tunnel tested, seen it done, all on his website. Paired with that, the front mech cover as well. Again, it depends what angle the wind's coming from and what speed you go in and so on. So I wouldn't want to say an exact amount of watts that it saves, but it is not a detriment at all. We know that it saves watts. And the whole point of this bike leg isn't to do it as fast as possible. We need to deliver James to the run as fresh as possible whilst not having taken too much time doing the bike. So it's a bit tactical in terms of how fast we're going to be riding now we're going to be riding somewhere between 17 and 20 miles an hour that's the sweet spot we find and every little bit on here that adds up let's say it's 10 15 20 watts well that is james saving 10 15 20 watts so he's going to be able to pedal that bit easier or go that little bit faster and it makes a big difference when you're swimming and running as far as he is every little bit makes a difference now i've been prompted to shut up so i'm going to draw it to a close there that please do give these brands some support if you're thinking about buying any of these products just consider them they've supported us they've supported the charity i think it speaks volumes about our company when they do those things so can't wait to see it in action i'm now going to take this james's house and he's going to go and get testing it on the group rides and stuff and i can't wait to see it in action and look forward to sharing the journey with you on the way to the 13th and 14th of july